This is RobinBrimmer.net. Good afternoon, and it's a balmy 104 out there, but thankfully it looks like some storm clouds are coming in to cool it down here in South Central Oklahoma. <laughs> I don't know why I had to say all that. Anyway, um, today I want to quickly share with you John 6:63. Uh, yesterday I talked about uh, how your words, how God upholds all things by the word of His power. Well, today. John 6.63 says that Jesus said this, My words are spirit and life. <clears throat> Did you know that words have life in them? That they're alive, they're spirits. They're, they are a spirit in the spirit realm. Everything in the spirit realm created everything in the physical realm. In other words, <clears throat> the spirit realm is the parent. And the physical realm is the child. Uh, you can't have anything in the physical realm unless you first have it in the spiritual realm. Uh, so everything is spiritual before it's physical and that's why the manifestation of, of man's the fall of man uh, and the sin of man became physical sickness death disease poverty lack and fear was the physical result of the spiritual death and John 6 63 says my words are spirit and life so what kind of words are you speaking? Are you speaking words of spirit and life? Are you saying, oh, kid, you, you're not going to be nothing. And the kid, you know, creates that reality because you keep telling your kid that they're worthless or they're nothing or somebody spoke that over you. Um, speak words of life. Take God's word. Find in his word things that pertain to your situation and speak those words because the words that God speaks are spirit and life and they can change situations they were created they created words created everything and words can change everything so speak god's word and that's john john 663 go to my website robinbremer.net it's a daily blog and um check out my outline subscribe to my newsletter check out my free materials so you have a blessed day and i'll talk to you tomorrow